song reimagined from the way we recorded it in 1977, I Rock and roll 
because the music really satisfies my soul. Hey, it really knocks me out. Cause I love to jump and shout. So give me music with a beat. And knock me off of my feet. I don't care what you heard. This is a crazy mixed up world. A crazy mixed up world. A crazy mixed up world. there they really didn't pave some of the roads it was it was rough 
So I went out there with my little uh, uh, pal, Hart McNee, who's a flute player, and he weighed about 119 pounds, and he and I <laughs> go over to Silvio's, and we wanted to meet Helen Wolf and see him play. And we walked in uh, to the club, we got outside the club, there was some, some bad business going on outside the club, we kind of waited for that to clear, and then we went in, and we got in this club, and it was about, it was like a shotgun shack, it was like uh, 30 feet wide and 90 feet long or something like that, you know, this like this was straight down, and on uh, this side, that's where the bar was, it was a long bar, on the other side, just like 8 feet away or so, there was like this wedding cake stage. And on the stage was Howling Wolf's band, and they were all dressed in turquoise tuxedos. And on top was Hubert Somlin, who was the, the great Hubert Somlin, and the phenomenal. You know, he was the guy who invented that lick and all those. Uh, and he, he was just terrific. But there was no Helen Wolf. But I could hear Helen Wolf singing, and I could hear him playing the harmonica. So I went to the bartender and I said, Well, where's Helen Wolf? And he said, Oh, he's in the next room. You just go through that door there. And so I went up to the door, and when I opened the door, it was as if I was on the stage and I opened the door, and there you were. There were 500 people <laughs> sitting in this high school cafeteria room that was tagged on to this bar. With fluorescent lights on everywhere, broad daylight, you know, a great big dining, you know, it looked like a high school dining, dining area, you know. And it was filled with like 500 country people. And they were all sitting there, and Howling Wolf, right where I opened the door, was sitting in a chair playing harmonica. And he had the door cracked a little bit so he could hear the band, but they wouldn't overpower him and compete with him. He was like singing and playing harp. And I, uh, was stunned because I was standing right next to him in front of the audience like I am right now and I kind of had to slink down to the side and slink down to the back of the room and I sat down and Howlin' Wolf finished his tune and he said, and he talked like this, you know, he had this big knee, he said, now I want y'all to be nice to my little white friends here. <laughs> and uh, we, were, we were so thankful to Howlin' Wolf. <laughs> for pointing us out <laughs> and letting everybody know that he was our special guardian. And you know, it went on like that. I, our relationship grew, and when, when uh, the Wolf and his band first came out to San Francisco for the first time and played the Fillmore, I went and picked him up in my books like a bus, and we got his gear, and we drove around, and he was uh, uh, just a sweetheart. He was a great guy. And uh, this is uh, one of his tunes, and it's... Uh, called Who's Been Talking? Howlin' Wolf. <laughs>
Thanksgiving and she had these records and I was 11 years old and that's that's when I first learned your cash ain't nothing but trash song I started doing immediately when I was 12 <laughs> and uh, this is I got my eyes on you the flip side this was the hit side <laughs> You wiggle when you walk. When you wiggle. 
took her in. The woman didn't need no bail. She wiggled one time for the jury. The jury put the cops in jail. They got the love over the
Shipley. Never change, never change 